What is the huge wound on the onset of the cat's hind leg? This is a big kind to pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. What is a bumper food? It is a bacterial infection and inflammatory reaction on the feet of birds and rodents. What caused a bumper food? It is caused by wire and mesh floorings and or wheels that have not been cleaned for a while. History. Two zero one four. Okay, what happened now to this cat? How old is it? Two years. Two years. Man mutant. Red dog cross. Now, what is the main complaint? Is this two? The wounds here, right? They're talking about. Yes. For how long already? Discovered around. Discovered around one week. Yeah. But this one burst yesterday. Yeah. It's obsessed. Ah. Discovered about one a few days ago, right? Okay, now they both sides of the leg. The front? How about the front? Let's see. So we just check the front leg. The front usually don't have. Okay, what happened is uh is at the floor of the cage, huh? Or the, is it wired? No, we let it run around. Run around. And normally it's the friction to the floor. Does it go under somewhere? Under the table, under the bed? Under the chair. Under the under chair. Under the sofa, oh. under the sofa. Uh, is something very rough there? What happened is that he there's a there's an injury, you see, and then the bacteria goes in. Uh, so the cat can be licking it. Uh. He did yesterday. Yeah. So uh, this is happening normally in rabbits. Uh. Rabbits. Yeah, that's why it's very rare in cats. Oh, okay. And uh, normally it's due to the friction on the floor, uh, something very rough, uh, and then the uh, injured here. Yeah, see, normally it's pus coming out. And uh, cats is very rare. Uh, let me check the white glands for you. Does he lick the tails all the time? He licks all the time. The tail. Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Actually. Oh, everywhere is grooming. So the but the tail he also lick often. Uh, normally the inner glands, uh, yeah. the oil glands. Uh. <laughs> they see the certain factor with the oil coming up. You see the oil there? Oh. Oil glands they call inner sac. Uh, and normally they produce oil, you see. This one is infected. Uh, and it's so painful. Uh. So I won't do anything. I, I just give a sedation. Then I press up on the pass. No, not pass the oil. My oil is smelly oil. Uh, and then I clean up the wound. Uh, okay. Uh, because now it's painful if I do it now like that. Since I have to do that, I will shave off and clear the wound. Uh. Then after that, you have to be careful. Don't let him go under the chair. He goes many times, see. Somewhere, not why? About the, you know, the piece of plastic with those sharp, sharp edges to to uh. one of the cat. Yeah, it's very uh, behind, behind, behind the sofa. This is the cat ward of Pradak. Like uh, but it's behind the sofa. Ah, so he goes and hide lah. Ah, yeah. There's a there's a hide. No, he goes hide inside. Yeah, he's hiding. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his the back thing. legs are. He finally he's very careful. Yeah. He probably go across mm -hmm. it, but when it's back leg, because the space is very narrow, right? Yeah. So his back leg hits okay. the oh. So you just remove that thing, okay. your, your problem is solved. The only thing this part may be related to it, so he goes inside that. Actually, I didn't notice that. Oh. Yeah. So you see, you show the nose. Uh. Nose is one. This is not normal. Normally the hair is covered up. No, normally there's hair. This hair continues downwards. Oh. Then uh, we should be on the back side. And then the back side one is, what is the cause really? Uh, the infection. oil glands uh, are in the oil. Uh. Uh, the oil didn't, didn't come up normally, you see. Even yeah, I think I smell in. the thing. <laughs> but I cannot, normally I would just press it like that. Uh. Okay, but let me just see whether I can do it. Just stay here. Wait, hold on. Uh. Hold on. Uh. And uh, it's, it's a lot, so the, the oil leaks up. Yeah. Oh. It's very bad. It's very smelly. That means it's very long, two years. Uh. I didn't do it for two years, right? Uh. Or not even one set. Not even once. Mm. Some cats, when it, it, it pass motion, uh, it comes up by itself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 I think I need. Mm. Can you turn up for that? Okay. Problem 4 Excessive Shading. 
Solution: Stop using perfume spray over the cat's litter to keep it clean, and to stop using perfume shampoo for the next four weeks. Use a mouth shampoo or just brush the cat. Sedating the cat. Attending to bumper food. Yeah, the food. So that the easier to uh, to press out the pass, release the pass, and the debris, and maybe the foreign bodies from the anti cat mat. The spikes have gone in, so that's the reason uh, there's a wound, you see, and the infection that there was passed there. The owners complained about pass. Okay, so now we have to clip off, uh, clip off, and then we will clean up with the with the antiseptic and, and wash off. Anyway, this this spike mat is uh, put behind the sofa, so that in theory the cat is supposed to avoid going in is it but the cat hides under the sofa so he just goes in but his back legs got caught in the spikes and so these spikes have uh, gone into the skin so that pus comes out here so you can see that we have to clear the pus and the foreign body as well because normally there's sort of small spikes inside and uh, and the cat of course is uh, irritated by it so this has been going on for about two months uh. No, they bought the, the anti anti cat mat from Daiso. So Daiso sells such things. Daiso is a two two dollar store, and they have many uh, uh, items for sale at two dollars. So this is an interesting case. I was telling uh, Philip. So this is uh, one thing, that's why you can see the inner area is very uh, dirty. You see the oil? Now normally when they pass tools, the oil will come up by itself. So there is no need for this uh, oil to be stuck inside. So this is an impacted inner sac. And uh, this is really bad because the hand office. The, because uh, normally... Uh, but in this case, it didn't... Attending hair loss issue on the nose area. 0.4 IM. Now this part, the nose part, is uh, due to the happy with the the cat. Maybe cat uh, is so happy with this stroking, so the owner keeps doing it. According to the wife, she uh, does it on the neck, and the cat responds by purring. But for the for the husband, attending to ears infection. Uh, because the owner is complaining about hair loss, uh, so it's most likely. The ear infection, no, the ear infection. So you, you can see that there's some dirt inside the ear. This, this dirt, no, you can see. Although it's not much, the, the other ear, same thing, right? Same thing. No, there's some dirt there because this could be irritating to the cat. So he have been scratching it, causing generalized hair loss. According to the owner, the hair is not so, uh, so uh, full. So now we have clean the ears, and this is easier done under anesthetic rather than uh, than uh, doing directly on the cat. Yeah. So we will put the ear drops in and uh, try and remove all the dirt in the horizontal canal, horizontal canal of the ear by by uh, massaging the ear canal and letting the dirt comes out. This is not a very serious one, the ear problem, but uh, it's part of grooming. It's difficult to, for the owner to groom a cat who, that moves around. So this one is the, the, the one, two, three, four. Addressing the urinary tract issue in the cat. Hmm? A bit in frame, but uh, according to the owner, there is no complaint about uh, a urination. But uh, this shows that it's not normal. Normal one, it should be pink color, but you can see the penis is actually purplish. So there's another uh, problem discovered. Okay, finish already. Conclusion: Other than having a bumper food, the cat had other health problems like inner securities. 
Bumper food is commonly seen in rabbits and rare in cats. Bumper is an ulcerated, infected area of skin on the underside of the real foot up to the hock joint.